very pleasant day to you all students. I welcome you all for today's class. Today I am going to begin with history chapter. Dear students, in the first chapter of history, you have studied advent of Europeans to India. The word advent is derived from Latin adventus, which means coming. So, who do you call English? They came to India for trade. One who came for trade in the first chapter, we are going to call the British started to rule our country in the second chapter, which means the British start to establish the rule in India. Such a British people to their rule for their political benefits, they start to make lot of changes. That is what we have discussed in the third chapter, impact of British rule. Impact means result, changes. Because of Britishers, what were the changes that took place in India? Because of their political exploitation in India, we start to oppose their rule. That is what we are going to discuss today's lesson, my students. Opposition of British rule in Karnataka. Students, we are supposed to try to understand why we were opposing the British rule in Karnataka. During the later part of 18th century, British were trying to exploit our agriculture, even the trade in order to protect their interest. These Britishers created insecurity among the local kings. That is why the zamindars, the petty rulers or the small rulers, I want to call local king, they start to revolt against the Britishers without organizing themselves, without organizing themselves. Among them, Hyder Ali and his son Tipu Sultan were important during 1761 to 1799. The 18th century in Indian history considered as century of political problems. Why do we call the 18th century as century of political problems? If we go and try to know about that one, we can come to know. That was in 1707, the Mughal emperor, who do you call Aurangzeb, he was died. Soon after the death of the Aurangzeb, there were no eminent rulers who came to the throne in Mughal Empire. So, the Mughals lost the control over South India. Who lost the control over South India? Mughals lost the control over South, South India. Before the death of Aurangzeb, if you come to the Mysore state or in the Mysore kingdom, that was in the year 1704, Chikka Devaraja Wadaya was died. After the death of the Chikka Devaraja Wadaya, in Mysore also they start to fight for the succession of throne. That is why the 18th century in India we call the century of political problems. This is the situation. There was a boy who was born and brought up in Kolar, a ordinary boy. He was not educated. He joined as an ordinary soldier in Wadiya's kingdom. He is none other than Aydra Ali. This Aydra Ali took part in the war against the Nawab of Arkad, that is to capture Devan Ali. During that time, he learned all the war techniques. Who learned all the war techniques? Hyder Ali was learned all the war techniques. Because of his swift actions, he became a Dalawai. Soon after he became Dalawai, he started to sideline the Krishna Raja Wadiya II, who was a Wadiya ruler and he was a dumb and deaf. After the Krishna Raja Wadiya, in Mysore, there was no successful rulers among the Wadiyas. By that time, the prominent administrative officers of Wadiyas, who were going to call Dalawais, came to the power particularly Nanjarajaya and Devarajaya. Who do you going to call this? Either he was worked under Nanjarajaya and Devarajaya and took part in the Carnatic War. 
But who do I call this? Either Ali, he was known for his shrewd political moves. He was came into very prominence during the siege of Devan Ali. Because of his military actions, he was became a commander. Commander became a Dalawai. Such a man, he became a very popular among the soldiers and even among the people. And he was popularly known as Nawab Aydra Ali. Because of all this ability, this Aydra Ali was more popular. The growth of Aydra Ali was responsible for the first Anglo Mysore War. The first Anglo Mysore War, which was took place in the year 1767, and the war was continued till the year 1769. Why there were the first Anglo Mysore War? Let us go into discuss about the causes for the first Anglo Mysore War. The growth of Aydrali, the prominence of Aydrali started to alarm among the neighboring rulers like Nizam of Hyderabad and even the Marathas. Actually, the Marathas had an enmity with the Hyderali. Why means that was in the year 1758. Who do we call Marathas used to come to Srirangapatana to collect Chautahi? Chautahi means one fourth of the agriculture produce the Marathas used to collect from Srirangapatana. But who do we call this? Hyderali was asked the people of Srirangapatana not to pay the Chautahi to the Marathas. There, among the people who get a call Hyderali become very popular. That is why Marathas have enmity with the Hyderali. Now, the growth of Hyderali set alarm by British, Marathas, and Nizam of Hyderabad. By the time English was used the right opportunity, so English moved to the Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad and made an alliance. He called as Tri party alliance. But who do we call this? Hyder Ali was very diplomatic, very cunning. With his diplomacy, he broke the alliance of English with Nizam of Hyderabad and Marathas and created enmity among themselves only. So now they were only fighting among themselves. Not only that they were fighting among themselves, who do we call Hyder Ali was attracted. Who called when they call Nizam of Hyderabad and Marathas were joined with Hyderali. By that time, by taking the help of when they call Nizam of Hyderabad and the Marathas, he want to attack and capture Arkad. Now he was moving towards Arkad. So when he was moving towards Arkad, there the first Anglo Mysore war took place. Where and all the first Anglo Mysore war took place? The first Anglo Mysore war which was took place at the place called Trichurapalli. Trivandamalai and even at the place Ambur and many other places also. But who do you call Hyderali was organized lightning attack in these battles. But in some of the battlefield, Hyderali also met many setbacks. Hyderali considered the war was very challenging for his personal growth, a personal power. So he continued the war. Not only continued the war and he tried to capture the Madras, his attempt to capture the Madras was successful. In the year 1769, who do we call he captured the Madras. When the Hyderali was captured the Madras, English came for the treaty. English came for, for the peace treaty. That was in the year 1769. The treaty of Madras was signed between Hyderali with English. What are the terms of Treaty of Madras says? Terms means agreements. What are the terms of Treaty of Madras says means? There are three terms mainly you can discuss. The first one, the captured war prisoners, they have to exchange each other. If the Hyderali took the British soldiers means, you have to send them back to the British. If any British took yeah, Hyderali soldiers means, British have to release the Hyderali soldiers exchange the war prisoners. The second thing, capture territory they have to exchange each other. If the Hyderali capture the English territory or English capture the Hyderali territory, they have to exchange each other. The most important one, third one, if the any enemy attacks, they have to help each other. If any enemy attacks Hyderali, English supposed to come to help the Hyderali. If anyone attacks the English, Hyderali supposed to go and help the English. This is going to call the most important terms of 
Treaty of Madras. The Treaty of Madras was responsible for the Second Anglo Mysore War. How the Treaty of Madras was a, uh, responsible for the Second Anglo Mysore War? Let us go to discuss now, my students. Shall we go to the Second Anglo Mysore War? Yes, we will go on and discuss the Second Anglo Mysore War. The Second Anglo Mysore War, which was took place in the year 1780, the war was continued till the year 1784. What was the reason for the second Anglo Mysore War? I will give you mainly two reasons. Mainly two reasons I will give you. One, who do you call the Maratha Peshwa? We call them as Madhavarao the first. That was in the year 1770. That was in the year 1770. In the year 1770, who going to call the Madhavarao the first made attack on Sri Rangapatana? When the Madhavara the first made attack on Sri Ranga Patana, according to the Treaty of Madras, English supposed to come and help the Hyderali. But who do you call English? They did not keep the promise. They did not keep the promise. They broken the promise. Why? How we can say that when they broken the promise? Because English did not come forward to help the Hyderali. According to the Treaty of Madras, English supposed to come and help the Hyderali, but English did not come to help whom? Hyderali. Second reason, actually the Mahe was a French colony. Of course, the Mahe was a French colony, but which was under the control of Hyderali. Who do you going to call English? They were attacked and captured Mahe. It was enraged to the Hyderali. Enraged means made angry to the Hyderali. So, Hyderali immediately made attack and captured Kanchipuram. After he captured Kanchipuram, he was moving towards the coastal area, particularly he attacked on Koramandal beach area. After attacking the Koramandal beach, even he was made attack on Arkad. After he captured the Arkad, he gave a threatened call. Who gave a threatened call? Hyderali was given a threatened call. I am going to capture Wandi Wash and Velur. It shows that one Hyderali looks very powerful. So, when the Hyderali was looks very powerful, so it was created the worry to the British. So, it says that one the British officers became worried. By that time, who do you call English? An army which was kept stand by the British, the British army which was at Mumbai. The army was sent under leadership of Sir Ayrcourt. Sir Ayrcourt was a British commander in chief who was attacked on Hyderali. If you go and study in detail, in some of the battlefield, Hyderali defeated the English. In some of the battlefield, English also defeated Hyderali. So far, we have discussed Hyderali was attacked and captured Kanchipuram, even he was made attack on Koramandal beach. After attacking the Koromandal, he was marching towards the Arkad. After capturing the Arkad, he was given a threatened call to capture Wandivash and he won the Velur. By that time, it was, I told you, it was worried to the British. Now, British also defeat Hyderali at the Battle of Porto Nova. At the Battle of Porto Nova. They suffered financially, they suffered financially when they attack at Pulikate and even at the battle of Soligno,r But, which was strengthened the English, what was made as strengthened the English means the treaty of Salvai, the agreement of Salvai, the agreement of Salvai which was signed between Marathas with English. The treaty of Salvai was signed between whom and whom? Marathas with English. According to the treaty of Salvai, the British were successful in winning over the Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. So, when he took the help of the Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad, they made attack on the call Hyderali. That was the year 1782. Hyderali was died because of some disease due to call back boil. Back boil is nothing but some kind of disease Hyderali was died. When Hyderali was died, his son who had called Tipu Sultan was at Malabar. He was at Malabar region fighting against the English. So, who do you want to call Tipu Sultan? When he continued the war, English want to take this one as an advantage. 
So, the British try to take the advantage on Hyderali's death by invading Mangalore and he even they want to attack and capture the Bidanur. When the British were trying to attack the Mangalore, not only they were trying to attack on Mangalore, even what they call the British, they were instigated. Whom they instigated? He was instigated the Calicut and Malabar region people to revolt against the Tipu Sultan. But who do they call Tipu Sultan? He knew the tactics of the British. He knew the cunningness of the British. So, Tipu Sultan also want to drew the British out of India. That is why who do they call Tipu Sultan? He defeated the English at the place called Mangalore. The second Anglo Mysore war, when he was defeated, the uh, English at the place going to call Mangalore, immediately English came forward the peace treaty because English were aware. Tipu Sultan looks powerful, that is why English came forward the Treaty of Mangalore in the year 1784 was signed. What were the terms of Treaty of Mangalore? The terms of the Treaty of Madras was same was implemented as the terms of Treaty of Mangalore. What are the terms of Treaty of Madras says? I told you my students. The captured territories have to exchange each other. The war prisoners have to exchange each other. The third one I told you, when the enemy attacks, they have to help each other. When the enemy attacks, they have to help each other. This was the Treaty of Madras. The same terms of Treaty of Madras only, even they included, uh, even they concluded the, for the Treaty of Mangalore that was in the year 1784. The Treaty of Mangalore only responsible for another anglo mysore war. How the Treaty of Mangalore was responsible for the another anglo mysore war? Let us go and discuss. The most important reason for the third anglo mysore war was, that is, politics of Travancore. Here we are going to say the politics of the Travancore was a main reason for the third Anglo Mysore war. What was the politics of the Travancore? The Raja of Travancore, the king of Travancore built a fort at Kochi and even he captured Ayakota and Kanganur fort from the Dutch. So, when he want to capture Ayakot and Kanganur fort from the Dutch, English helped going to call Travancore king because the Raja of Travancore or the king of Travancore and the English were the friends each other. Meanwhile, who are going to call British also captured Karwar, Coimbatore, even Dindukal. After the capturing the Karwar, Coimbatore and Dindukal, English realized the importance of Tipu Sultan. English felt that one Tipu Sultan is the strongest enemy in the South India. If the Tipu Sultan was defeated means English can be ruled throughout India. There was a mastermind of the plan of English. By that time, even Tipu Sultan entered the region of Baramahal. After entering the region of the Baramahal, he captured going to call Satya Mangalam. After he captured the place of Satya Mangalam, he planned to attack and capture Truchrapalli. When the Tipu Sultan was made an attack and capture Trichuraapalli, his attempt was failed. The attempt to capture Trichuraapalli was failed. During the time of Third Anglo Mysore War, the English Command and Chief of the Army was Lord Cornwallis. Lord Cornwallis was the leader of the British Army during the Third Anglo Mysore War. If you go and study about the third Anglo Mysore war, when the war was took place, who do you call the British army came and surrounded the Sri Ranga Patana. So, when it was surrounded the Sri Ranga Patana, the British army sought to destroy the Tipu fort at Sri Ranga Patana during night time. By observing this one, by realizing the power of the English, now Tipu Sultan was helpless. When the Tipu Sultan was helpless, he came forward for the peace treaty with the English. Accordingly, that was in the year 1792, Tipu Sultan came forward for the peace treaty with the English. Now, in the year 1792, English and Tipu Sultan was, were signed for the peace treaty, that is Treaty of Sri Rangapatana in 1792. What the Treaty of Sri Rangapatana says? What the Treaty of Sri Ranga Patna says, according to the Treaty of Sri Ranga Patna, so here we can say the terms of Treaty of Sri Ranga Patna says like this. According to the Treaty of Sri Ranga Patna, Tipu Sultan have to give 
off of his territory to the British. The British took off of the territory of Tipu Sultan, shared among English, Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. The second condition, the second term of the Treaty of Sri Lanka Patana, Tipu Sultan was forced to pay 3 crore rupee as war indemnity. There is nothing but war loss because English wage a war against the Tipu Sultan. English says that Tipu Sultan, if you are not attacked under the Raj of Trivanku, we may not be entered in the war. So, for the third Anglo Misruva, Tipu Sultan was made a responsible, that is why Tipu was asked to pay that war loss of 3 crore rupee. But Tipu Sultan also met in a war, no. So, where will have so much of money? That is why English were given an option to the Tipu Sultan, the third term of the Treaty of Sri Lanka Patna, we are saying. English asked the Tipu Sultan to pay 3 crore rupee a given time. How long time is given? As long as you are going to take a time to pay that 3 crore rupee as a war indemnity, you surrender two of his children as hostage with English. We are saying in another word, he had to pledge two of his children as a guarantee against the payment. Not only that one, he also forced to release the war prisoners. He also forced to release the war prisoners. The results of the third Anglo Mysore war was responsible for the fourth Anglo Mysore war. In another word, I can tell you, in the first and second Anglo Mysore war, according to the Treaty of Madras and Treaty of Mangalore, was a peace treaty. The war captives have to exchange, the captured territory have to exchange each other. When the enemy attacks, they have to help each other. But the terms of Treaty of Sri Lanka Patna says completely differ, which means the Treaty of Sri Lanka Patna completely in favor of the British, completely against the Tipu Sultan because he have to give off of the territory. He is supposed to surrender two of his children as a hostage. Then he is supposed to pay 3 crore rupee as a war loss. That is why Tipu Sultan felt the Sri Rangapatna Treaty is not a peace treaty according to Tipu Sultan. Tipu Sultan felt it was a humiliation treaty for the Tipu Sultan. It was a humiliation treaty for the Tipu Sultan. That is why Tipu Sultan took the defeat in the third Anglo Mysore was personally and he paid all the dues which means all the war loss was paid to the English and he got released the two of his children. He also gave away the territory to the British according to the agreement. After giving all the territory to the English, he want to claim his right over the Malabar region. But when the Tipu Sultan was trying to climb the Malabar region, what are going to call English, they refused to give his rights. By that time, that was in the year 1798, who are going to call Lord Wellesley, he was became a governor of English in India. When the Lord Wellesley became the governor of English in India, he was introduced subsidiary alliance system in India. When the Lord Wellesley was introduced as subsidy alliance in India, who do we call Lord Wellesley was forced the Tipu Sultan to sign for subsidiary alliance. But who do we call Tipu Sultan refused to sign for subsidiary alliance finally. So, when the English were forcing him, when the English were insisting him so much, who do we call Tipu Sultan is no other way. So, he sent his ambassador, ambassador means messenger to ask the help of the French. When the Tipu was sent an ambassador to the French to seek their help, uh, to seek their alliance, to seek their help, by that time English was understood, Tipu was again, he was strengthening the power, Tipu, English were realized, Tipu was trying to organize his power against the English. This was couldn't tolerate by the English. That is why English made an attack on Tipu Sultan that was in the year 1799. It is says, it was a time. So, when the British army was completely sieged or surrounded the Sri Lanka Patna fort, Tipu was helpless. Immediately, he climbed on a horse and entered the battlefield. In the battlefield, he fought against the British. When he was fought against the British like a soldier in the battlefield, he was died. We are not saying he was killed, we used to say that when he was died. 
because nobody knows how the Tipu Sultan was died after that we found that one only his dead body. May be the reason, may be. When the Tipu was fighting as the English, okay, his own soldiers, or maybe Britishers, or British soldiers, someone may be killed or himself he may be died, but nobody knows how the Tipu Sultan was died, but Tipu Sultan was died in the battlefield. Tipu Sultan was died in the battlefield. So, that is why we have said one Tipu's dead body was found. Then what were the results of the fourth anglo Mysore war? First one we are saying Tipu was died in the battlefield that was in the year 1799. The British were able to destroy the strong fort of the Tipu Sultan. After death of the Tipu Sultan, the Tipu's territory was shared among English, Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. The remaining small portion of the territory which was given to the hereditary of Wadayas. Krishna Raja Wadaya III became the Wadayas uh, ruler. When the Krishna Raja Wadaya III became the ruler, he was forced to sign for subsidy alliance. At last, this region also known as Mysore princely state. So, dear students, so far, we have discussed about Hyder Ali, how he came to the power, how Hyder Ali was fought against the English in the first Anglo Mysore War, and he when he continued in the second Anglo Mysore War. In the middle of the second Anglo Mysore War, how the Tipu Sultan was continued the war and ended with the Treaty of Mangalore. In the third Anglo Mysore War, how he picked the war with the English. In the fourth Anglo Mysore War, after the death of the Tipu Sultan, the territory which was shared among the English. Marathas and Nizam, the rest of the territory which was handed over to the Wadiyas of Mysore. My students, by observing all those things, by following all those things, I like to give you a few questions to you to learn these questions and have to write the answers for the next class. That is, the first Anglo Mysore ended with the Treaty of Dash. The first Anglo Mysore ended with the Treaty of Madras. The second Anglo Mysore ended with the Treaty of Mangalore in the year 1784. Apart from that, few question answers are given to you. It is a very important question to you, my students. What was the cause for the second Anglo Mysore War? What were the reasons for the third Anglo Mysore War? What were the results of third Anglo Mysore War? What was the causes for the fourth Anglo Mysore War? What were the results of fourth Anglo Mysore War? My dear students, you will learn and come all these question answers for the next class. We will meet you by next class. Thank you all. So, I am Mr. Jerome. I am working as assistant master in St. Job's High School, Brian Square, that is in Bangalore. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, students.